again. I was born ready, time to show the win. Basketball is the number one sport in Chicago. It's probably the favorite game to bring the city together. My draft process wasn't like everybody else's. I just wanted to play the game that good and have my own story. Stay ready, don't get ready. I'm from Oak Park, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. I got into basketball because of my brother. I'm undefeated. I can't be beaten. I always wanted to be top dog. You um, grow up with brothers, everybody want to be the number one guy. And that competition to the top, that'll drive you. Get ready to rumble. Nothing can make me crumble. Take a step into the jungle. I had an art teacher that told me that 0.0000000003% of people in the world make it to the NBA. And I'll never forget automatically just associating myself with the 0.0000000003% of the world. Like, I'll be part of that then, and y'all could be part of this other side. But I know I'm going that way. The best thing about the combine, you get to show people you're a grown up. I wasn't like highly toted like everybody else. I probably would have went higher in the draft, but they stopped working out with me. Nobody would take my workouts anymore. My invite to the draft didn't even come until like a day or two before because I had climbed up through workouts. I just remember going extra hard with the bench press and lifting the most out of the guards and having the highest vertical. My draft night was better than going to the to the draft. You know, New York booed me uh, when they figured, me. Yeah, it's cool now, but that shit was not cool then. And because my family and friends were so loud and like just hugging me and you know what I'm saying? Like, I had so much support around me, I didn't even know I got booed. Like I thought New York went crazy how my family went crazy. When I found out the next day that they booed, it was like it hurt but it drove me like it was fuel to it. I came to leave for a championship. I didn't really come to be the MVP. My first year in the league was first. I'm Melo's rookie, so on the road, I go eat with Melo, hang with Melo. After practice, I got to watch Melo's ice routine. You know, having Tyson Chandler there, I got to play with Marcus Canby, Jason Kidd. Raymond Felton, and I was lucky that I was one of the young guys on a veteran team to get to see exactly how you move and how you structure things to, to get done what you what you said and to get accomplished. I say for the young guys coming in, man, and I say to, to frame this humbly, you're gonna get told to follow a lot of direction. Remember, they came to get you and you can't forget to be you. And remember, you love basketball.